Hello, this is teacher Claudia and it is story time again. Yay! Today we are going to read the story of bum, 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 the elves and the shoemaker. Okay, so this is a storybook that uh, tells the story of the elves and the shoemaker. Do you know what elves are? <laughs> elves are like magical godmothers. They are these uh, tiny, very small magical creatures and generally they help people. Okay, people who need, people who need to be helped. And a shoemaker uh, is a person who works making or repairing shoes. All right? So this is the story of a couple of magical elves and a shoemaker. All right? Are you ready to start? Okay. So, once upon a time, ooh, there was a shoemaker who owned a shoe shop. Yes. But this shoemaker wasn't very rich. Actually, he was poor. He was a poor shoemaker and he could only afford to buy black, gray and brown fabric to make his shoes. So the people from the town thought, ah, uh, always black, always gray and always brown. These shoes from this shoemaker are so boring. We don't want to buy those shoes because they're so boring. Like we want to have colorful, colorful shoes. So we need to buy them somewhere else. And so the poor shoemaker was always poor. He never had money because never bought shoes from his shop. And he was very sad because he actually loved making shoes. Okay, so one day, the poor shoemaker discovered that he only have three coins left. Like all his money had disappeared. So he only had three coins left. And he thought, well, I can buy a bit of fabric with this money and I can make some brown shoes. Maybe uh, someone from the village will want to buy my shoes. So he did. He bought, he bought the brown fabric and he started uh, making the brown shoes, brown boots. But he looked at them and he thought, oh, these boots are also brown because I cannot afford expensive and beautiful fabric. So no one's going to buy them. I'll better go to sleep. And so he did. He went to bed and he completely felt asleep. Okay, without finishing the shoes. Surprisingly, voila! When he woke up, he realized that the half-made brown boots were gone and a beautiful pair of pink shoes with sparkling things on top were on their place. And he thought, oh my god, this is magic! And so he put those super beautiful shoes on the window and as soon as he put them a woman from the town who was just walking by saw them and said oh my god those shoes are fantastic i need them how much are they i want them here and so the shoemaker sold his first pair of shoes in a very long time but with the money he got from the first pair of uh, magical shoes he bought more fabric okay and this time he was hmm he was guessing where the shoes came from so he just left the new fabric on the table and one more time he went to sleep nom, 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 nom. when he woke up he had two pairs of fantastic shoes a yellow pair and a red pair and they were fantastic like all the women from the town were like crazy together like oh my god I want those shoes that look so nice on my feet oh my god I need them so 
sell everybody but the shoes from the shoemaker shop, okay? And so the shoemaker got a lot of money. But he was wondering, he was wondering, but this is very good, but how does it happen? Why every time I leave some fabric on my table and I go to sleep, is it that the next morning I found some awesome, beautiful, colorful shoes on my table? I don't get it. So, the next day he also bought some fabric and put it on the table and said, I'm going to sleep aloud. But this time he didn't go to bed. He hid, like me, to hid. Okay, he hid behind the door and waited. And suddenly, two magical elves appeared from nowhere and they started working with the fabric and they made the most beautiful shoes he had ever seen on his life. As he had finally discovered what was going on, he felt so grateful. He was like, oh my God, I need to thank those elves somehow because they helped me survive. Yes, and now I'm, I'm selling shoes, a lot of shoes. So he decided to make some tiny elf coats and some tiny uh, elf's shoes for the elves and just he left them on the table for them to find the next day. And when the elves found these boots and these um, coats, they were so happy because they were actually pretty cold because they couldn't find clothes that fit them because, you know, they were tiny. So they were so, so, so happy that they decided to thank the shoemaker. And so the shoemaker told them that they could stay forever because he wanted to continue to make clothes and boots for them. And so the shoemaker always had great shoes to sell the people from the town. And that's it, how the story ends. That is the story of the elves and the shoemaker. So always remember to help people in need and to be thankful when the occasion arises. All right, see you next time, guys.